almost everything we do challenges the electricity grid. Think about it. All those gadgets you use from the moment you wake up and turn on the lights to when you power down and go to bed, they all gobble up electricity. Imagine if we were smart about it. We could prevent blackouts and save money on our energy bills. That's where the smart grid of the future you keep hearing about comes in. Well, some residents of Austin, Texas have already smartened up. Josh Zepps takes a look at how their smart grid experiment could one day change how we all use electricity in this Energy Now Spotlight. Believe it or not, these state-of-the-art screens might just be the future of toast making. Because although warming bread to a golden crisp may seem like a simple process, it ain't so simple when 10 million people do it all at once. Higher and higher spikes in peak energy demand are a serious problem. A problem that this nifty screen could help fix. We've overlaid um, energy data that we've gotten from homes that we're monitoring. University of Texas PhD student Josh Rhodes is one lucky guy. He not only gets to play around with a touch screen that every teenager on earth would kill for, but he's part of one of the world's most sophisticated smart grid deployments, Austin's Pecan Street project. We can see the peak in the afternoon, um, corresponding with um, air conditioning loads in the hottest part of the day. So it just gives us a good visualization of what's going on. A smart grid is an intelligent, internet-like network that aims to help consumers understand and manage how and when they use electricity, smoothing out the spikes in demand, securing the supply, and saving them money. Given the past three years we've had, we've had some crazy experiences and decided to be in a place we loved. Todd and Hannah Calvert's house may look like any other, but like all houses in their Austin neighborhood of Miller, it's communicating with their power utility about its energy consumption and its solar power production every 15 seconds. The pioneers of the Pecan Street project believe that it could reinvent how we use electricity across America and the world. Instead of information flowing to the utility, an energy fund from the utility to you, the energy might flow both ways and the information might flow both ways. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a smarter system overall. We can make better decisions and kind of take control of our energy consumption. Michael Weber co-founded the Pecan Street Project, a $30 million public-private partnership, back in 2008 after the city of Austin mandated that the city's peak energy demand be decreased by almost 30 percent by 2020. And we came up with the Pecan Street Project, which is a demonstration of some of those ideas. It's smart grid, better information, incorporating gas and water, better pricing plans, real-time price signals, that kind of thing. An example is my coffee maker. I, you know, I have, I've spent tons and tons of time finding the perfect coffee maker and it keeps the water at a specific temperature so when you put it in it's at exactly 202 degrees and blah blah blah. And um, I've come to find out, you know, through the monitoring and whatnot, that that keeping that water at that temperature is using a significant amount of energy, mm. much more than is worth the really good coffee that it makes. Most people don't understand that electricity actually costs more to generate at different times of the day than others. This information will be very valuable to people if they want to shift their usage to a different time. Translation, run things at night when electricity costs less. Now that kind of proactive, granular decision making isn't a reality just yet. At this stage, the project's engineers are still just gathering data. Lab research associate Paul Navratil showed me how. So this is a graph of eight houses from the Mueller project of Pecan Street. This is their energy usage? Exactly. And so you're seeing energy usage in red, you're seeing energy generated from their photovoltaic cells in green, and then you have either the net consumption from the grid or even the net energy given back to the grid. And you see here, there's a little bit of excess production, so that is returned to the grid. So this was a point at which the house was actually producing more energy than it was consuming. That's correct. A home that's constantly finding subtle opportunities to reduce its electricity bill and even to make money selling solar power back to the grid benefits you and the power company. Up until about 20 years ago, the only solutions were topside supply solutions. Carl Robago is in charge of the energy efficiency programs at Austin Energy, the city's utility. He's the interface between the Pecan Street project and its electricity supply. He sees huge potential. We, we've even had extremely high executives in Washington who said things like, well, well the solution to this is build a new power plant every week. 
Um, that's a terrible way to go. There's another side of the equation. We can manage the demand. Usher in the convergence of the information technology era with the compelling need in the electric utility industry to change demand, and you have the seeds of the smart grid. I find it great that um, you know we get to move in a place where they're going to say, we're going to watch your energy and let you know how you use it. And to me, that's, that's a bonus. Proponents of smart grids say they could change our energy consumption like the internet changed our information consumption. This is the offending coffee machine. This is it. I must yeah. say, it was, it, was, it was pretty good coffee, though. What the smart grid shows is that the world's energy fate any... needn't be dictated by energy production and how much energy we use, but also by how intelligently we can use it. In Austin, Texas, Josh Zepps, Energy Now. Saving on your energy bill and still getting a great cup of coffee. Now that is powerful thinking. Right now, the Pecan Street project includes only about 100 houses, but with the help of a $10 million grant from the Department of Energy, the plan is to expand to 1,000 homes.